So this is what we're going to be tying. It's a simple fly. It's a very effective fly. Um, rivers, lakes, it, it works on a lot of different aspects. Um, and color-wise, you can tie it in the purple and the, and the black, the reds, the greens, you know, whatever your imagination does. Um, this is a size 14 and I'll tie them all the way down to an 18. If you're going to tie in an 1816s, I would recommend 10 aught Vivas. I'm using 70 denier uh, ultra thread. Um, but once you get down in the sizes a little bit, it's a lot easier to use the smaller thread. So let's get this out of the vise. And we're going to put in a size 14 scud hook with a 332nd black nickel tungsten bead. And I've already got that loaded on there. And we're going to take our thread. Oops, let's try that again. One of the things that when you're tying this is you want to keep a low profile um, for the body. You don't want a real big bushy body, you want it real slender. So, okay. So the first thing we're going to tie in is our purple holographic tinsel. And if you don't have the ones that are in the, the UTC um, uh, hol holographic tinsel, um, you can use uh, uh, Flashaboo or something of that nature. So we're going to get that tied in. And we're going to go all the way back. And one thing you want to do is kind of flatten your thread out when you're building this body so that you don't have a lot of bulk. We're going to take that right around almost to the middle of the bend. And then we're going to take some small ultra wire in silver. And you can use, if you don't want to use silver, you can use whatever color that you think works best for you. So when we do this, we're going to tie the uh, wire, the full length of the hook shank. Advance that. And we're tying it in on our, my side of the hook. The important thing is just kind of keep a low profile kind of a flowing. And then once we get up to the bead, what I'll do is again flatten my thread out. Now let's get this out of the way. Just counter twist it like that. And then I'm going to build up just a bit of a taper from about almost halfway to the head. Kind of like you do for chronomids. and just kind of work that back a little bit. Like I said, we just want kind of a low profile body. And we'll put a half inch in there. Gotta hold it in place. Okay, so when I, when I uh, wrap my uh, tinsel on here, I like to turn the, the uh, hook um, on its side like that. It's just easier for me to control instead of trying to wrap it around because with it being this, it has a tendency to want to slip. So you're just going to take uh, overlapping wraps on here and just advance yourself all the way forward. Like I said, this is a real simple fly. It doesn't take a whole lot to do. If you if you're ever tied chronomids, it's the same purpose or ex principle, excuse me. Get right up to the head, and we'll take a couple extra wraps there. Tie that off, right in behind the head. A couple wraps in front. And snip that off. So the wire, you want to probably do like maybe five to seven segmentations. So you want to take one full wrap around the butt. And then, yeah, I know, I've got a rotary vise and I don't use it, but that's okay. So you just kind of try and even out your segmentation. I don't think the fish really count it, but might as well do it right. There 
go. Couple wraps over the front top. Couple in front. Give that thing a little twist. There we go. Then what I do before I do the next step, putting the collar on, I'll take a little bit of Loon UV Flow just to kind of strengthen up because trout teeth are sharp, so I'll keep that from breaking that tinsel off even though you've got wire wrapped on it. go. We're going to take some Crystal Flash UV Pearl in the ultraviolet and take the strand, let's see where you can see that there, and you double it over. So you take the two ends and I'm going to tie them right in the center on top just like this. I want to make sure that those stay right on top. Like so. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to put our dubbing on there. And then we're going to take and put just a little bit of wax on the thread. Then we're going to take some ice, ice dubbed in the black peacock. A little pinch, and then I'm going to take and kind of break it apart so it's a little smaller. And we just want enough to maybe go over around it once or twice just to build up that thorax. Like so. And now, just a little bit of super glue on the thread. And just a couple of, about a two to three turn whip finish. It's all you need. That. Now then, your wing buds, buds, excuse me, or whatever, here, you're going to take and you're going to cut those off, oh, about maybe halfway, a little less than halfway, just like that. That just gives a little something extra there. They're splayed out on each side. Trim some of these longer pieces. And that's all there is to it. Like I said, these are real effective, really good for whitefish in the in the winter time too. Um, especially like if you cut, you uh, tie them up in uh, reds, they work really good in the lakes. I, I use the purple, and the reason I came up with this particular color was uh, partly was because of uh, Omac Lake. So, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, make sure to check out our other videos uh, at, on the YouTube or through our uh, website at North40FlyShop.com. <laughs> Have a good day.